Happy Arvo. Hello. Thank you for being here. How you doing? So Mike requested that I watch this video here. How the Oot became the most popular car in Australia. What's an Oot? What the Oot is an Oot? I've never heard of that. Should I look it up? I guess not. I guess I'll just wait and see. Oot. How is there a whole car I've never heard of? And it's the most popular thing in Australia. Hold on. Hold on. Right. Let me turn you up. The first one being, what the hell is it? And the second one in- So it's a truck. Boking a deep sense of pride into one of Australia's automotive icons. I'm the car doc, and today I'm gonna tell you the history of the- So it's kind of like Australia's Ford. Ute. Back in the early 1950s, car inventors across the globe were a life of ingenuity and innovation. Not a day would pass where a new car, a new engine or new gadget would come out to improve the lives of the wealthy, and usually the wealthy because cars were not available to everyone at this time. Ford at the time was well established in America and in 1925 opened an offshoot in Victoria, founding Ford Australia. The first Model T was in Ford Australia. I didn't know. I just had to say, this video is Excellent. Go check out the car documentary. 32 subscribers. Oh my gosh. Go check them out. Link down below. Fact produced from a makeshift production line within a converted wool storage warehouse. In 1932, a letter was received from an unnamed wife of a farmer requesting a vehicle to go to church on Sundays in and which can carry our pigs to market on Mondays. So, not much then. In response, Lou Bant, a Ford designer, took the Ford Model A. Wait, wait, wait. So this lady just mailed in a letter saying, hey, I want a car that I can take my kids to church in and a pig. And this company was like, oh, well, this lady, hey guys, this lady would like this car, so let's make it. Like this lady, hey, we got a letter, so let's make this, this car. The world used to be a better place, I feel like, before. Now now you can spam any car company with a million tweets and emails every day, and so they don't care. But back in these days, they got a letter in the mail, and they built a whole car. ...chassis and placed a large tray at the back and coined the name Coop Utility. Australians always trying to save time by creating... So Oot is the utility? ...nicknames consequently birthed a whole new class of car. The Ute. Ute. When Henry Ford was initially shown the new Model A, he reportedly and affectionately described it as a kangaroo chaser. <laughs> but we know today that that car was an overnight success, which spawned a whole heap of new models like the 1941 Ford, the Ford Anglia, and the Ford Falcon, alongside many more that they still make today. Wow, okay, okay. So it's these like small trucks that look like sedans that have the roof cut off. These are popular in Australia. So far, so good then. But the Australians weren't you never see them here. about to let the Americans have all the fun. Enter stage left. But you do once in a while. F. Holden. Holden was founded by a British migrant in 1856, where him and his German partner created parts for motorcycles. During World War I, Australia was cut off from the rest of the world due to trade restrictions, and the company started manufacturing the whole vehicle shells. These vehicle shells supplied some of the biggest car manufacturers on the planet. After a brief stint helping to produce guns during World War II, I mean, that's impressive. They get cut off and they're just like, hey, okay, well, we're cut off from the supply chain. Hey, let's just uh, let's just do it all, all ourselves. We don't need you. World War II, Holden was specifically funded by the Australian government to create Australia's own car. The original, less expensive four-cylinder mid-sized sedan just didn't cut it in the rugged Australian terrain. So the V8 U was born, and they quickly became the workhorse in rural areas. Huh. Even though Holden Utes were quite clearly successful, it wouldn't be an Australian company if they stopped there. Holden knew they were onto a good thing and a performance. What is that? Vehicle division was created. Holden Special Vehicles, also known as HSV for short, was founded in 1987, and they took the cult classic V8 Utes and they turned the wick up to 11 providing much more powerful V8 engines and big pumped up body kits. The most famous and popular HSV is called the Marlu. Sharing- What? That's, <laughs> it's kind of cool. It's named with many Aboriginal dialects for thunder. I don't know about that logo, Marlu. 
That logo is a little weird. This car is notably famous for breaking the record for the fastest production performance pickup, hitting a top speed of 168 mile an hour. And when you consider that this car is just short of two tons, there's nothing less than <laughs> impressive. Sadly, Holden shut up shop last year and no new Holdens are being made no. in Australia. But it's safe to say that they've made their mark in cementing the Ute as an automotive icon. The Australian public realized that the V8 would not only be- I'm surprised this is not a more popular type of form factor for a car here in America. I mean, you've got the, you've got the, you got the, um, yeah. It's better on gas than a pickup truck. It's got the speed, it's a little, you know, tight around the turns, and then you've got the bed in the back. Seems practical. It looks kind of cool. Good at lugging your family to church and pigs to the market, but it will in the right hands be quick, thus birthing the V8 Super Ute Racing League. The V8 Super Utes were an instant hit due to the fact that they were no. quite aggressive on track and ran a reverse grid, where during qualifying, the slowest driver actually starts at the front, and the fastest starts at the back, meaning it's a bit of a mishmash of madness. The drivers were all given nicknames in the Australian way, which created a family friendly and relatable racing series enjoyed across the country until 2017. So it's a whole racing event for just, just for utes? For cars with, that are like small pickup trucks? The loud screams of the V8s were retired, but the series lives on with straight six turbo diesels that can pump out a whopping 340 brake horsepower. Although I can't help but feel that something was lost in losing these V8 super utes. As time goes on, there is an increased push towards becoming more environmentally friendly, and the space for big gas guzzling utes is rapidly diminishing. So what does the Dang it. future hold for the <laughs> ute? Well, the only thing I can see on the current market that is a potential replacement and a future kind of cool option is the Tesla Cybertruck. Now That's random. Okay, yeah. Uh, I guess it kind of looks like a ute. Now, this is definitely a car that you would love to hate. Now, Elon Musk has promised a ute version of the ridiculously cuboidal looking futuristic electric. He has? You guys are going to get a ute? Cybertruck? Beast. Importantly, it will still have impressive pig carrying ability for the general public, but will also have the ability to do 0 to 60 in less than three seconds. And considering how heavy that car is, that's a terrifying prospect. Now, Ford have got an electric F-150 Raptor on the way, which will be very capable and is likely to dominate the Ute market. But personally- So you, would you consider a Ford Raptor a Ute? Thing I can't help but feel the true spirit of the Ute is in these older V8 cars. Luckily, there is a thriving used car market, and living in Australia, you see these V8 Utes razzing around every day. So, with its strong so cool. and steady fan base, I think this car will stay well and truly alive for many years to come. I Thanks for so. watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider liking and subscribing. I did enjoy that. My God, I can't believe how this video doesn't have that much views. Go check out this channel. Um, <laughs> thank you for watching the, the Ute. So the Ute is any type of utility car that looks like that, huh? It's not like a specific brand. Is that right? But most were made by Holden. Or are those the only true Utes, the ones made by Holden? Um... Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> anyway, I hope you guys are doing good. I hope to see you again tomorrow. I'll be here. <laughs> Goodbye.